Hi everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Here we share beginner-friendly coding tutorials on Scratch, Roblox, Minecraft, web programming, and many more. And today we're going to teach you how to create a Scratch animation called The Life of a Tree. All right, so let's see how the project will look like at the very end. Um, when I click the green flag, we'll see the animation start and take us on a journey throughout different stages in the tree's life. So let's click the green flag. And you can see that the cat moves and the instructions here, um, they're, they're, they're not really instructions, they are um, explanations what happens to the tree. So here is our plant, here is our actor, so um, the cat that's witnessing the scene. And here we can learn what really happens. So we get an explanation as well. And we use a space to navigate between those. All right, so let's get coding. As always, when you land on the scratch.mit.edu website, you go to the Create panel in the top left corner, and a new project will open up. Today, we're going to focus much more on the backdrops and the character itself, rather than, um, for example, doing uh, very advanced coding and game mechanics, um, because this is an animation. So Let's begin from costumes. Um, we can also rename the file to life of a tree so that we can remember for the future. And the first thing we will do is have a sprite that narrates the story. So we will modify um, the main sprite, which is the cat in our case. If you want a different character, obviously, that's your freedom. And I will be using the default cat and to make different modifications on it. So you can adjust them to your own design. So I'm going to choose um, a new costume. So go to the bottom left corner, select choose a costume and search for glasses. There will be multiple choices. So I'm going to choose glasses A, which is the simplest. And then I will press Ctrl and C to copy it. So press Ctrl and C on my keyboard and then go to costume one and press Ctrl and V on my keyboard. It may be Command and C and Command and V on Apple um, and Apple computers. And then I move it around to match my cat, right? So if we click it, we see that we have this. Um, however, we wanted to do um, sunglasses. So let's now see how to make sunglasses. Um, if you take a look at uh, the left panel, there is an option called fill. And if we change the color to black, we can tap or click on the circle. So on the glass part of the glasses and make it black. And now we are uh, we have sunglasses instead of just normal glasses. Then, because we already have the glasses, we can just delete the new glasses. Well, the, the old glasses actually. So we can click on the old glass sprite and click delete because we don't need it. Um, we can also delete the second sprite because we will not need it at all. All right. So this is our modified sprite. Now let's see how to make the actual backdrops. So let's go to backdrop, into the backdrop panel. So go to the bottom left, bottom right corner and select stage. Now we only have a simple white backdrop. So we will need a couple of different backdrops for this one. First of all, um, let's rename the first backdrop to title page. And we're going to draw uh, the ground and we're going to draw like a tiny sprout of a plant. So click on the brush and select the color that you would like to use. For me, I'm going to draw my ground and use the paint brush to paint this as well. 
All right, so um, now when we have the ground, let's uh, draw the sprout. So select mm, the green color and select a tiny or draw a tiny sprout and then go back to the color that you used before. So you can do it by selecting the color pick tool. If you select the color pick tool and click on the old drawing you done, you can go back to the same color. Mm -hmm. And this will be the first backdrop that we will use. Um, let's also add a title because this only has a plan, but it would be useful to know what we're doing. So let's select text and write the title. And then you can also change the color and the fonts. So I will change it to red and a font to, I don't know, curly sounds nice. So this will be my first backdrop. Then let's duplicate the title page. And change the name to sprouting. This means that um, a tiny little sprout turns into a larger plant. So we will grow the plant by drawing a new one. So for this backdrop, we will only change the title. So you don't need to draw anything new. Just click on the arrow, so the mouse pointer um, button, and then click on the text and write um, stage one. Okay. And this is the description of the first stage. All right, so then let's duplicate it again and do another backdrop. So again, right click, duplicate, and now we will have to change the drawing as well. So let's change the writing to stage two. And let's also change the name. So this will be the seeding. And now let's try to modify the drawing that we have. So we can use the eraser tool to erase the um, tiny little brown um, sprout. And then let's change the color back to green. And Draw a tiny little plant. All right, so this will be my plant. And now let's go to stage three. So again, duplicate. And then the plant will be bigger. So again, we need to change the title to stage three. And stage three will be the seed will grow and develop more. And you can draw many different shapes of the leaves that it may have. Um, I'm just going to, again, delete the tiny little leaves that I have drawn before. And mm, change the color to green again. And draw a little more. So let's have large leaves for this one. Okay. So this will be my second larger plant. And and now let's go to probably the f um, one of the final stages. So the stage where um, the flower already is on a plant. So let's see how that might be done. Let's duplicate this, change the title to stage four. Okay, let's keep it simple. So the plant starts to develop buds and flowers. And as you might know, we need to draw a flower. 
So for me, they will be yellowish, but you can also choose different ones. And you can draw whatever flowers you find pretty. I will draw tiny flowers like that. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to rename all the backdrops in, a, in an appropriate way. So this one will be budding. And the previous one um, will actually be vegetative. So this is when the plant grows bigger. Okay, so this is the fourth one. Now we need the flowers to grow more. So duplicate again and and change the the text to stage five. All right, and then you can make the flowers larger. So let's save the paint tool and change the color to yellow one or any one that you have used before. And we can make the flowers larger. All right, now let's duplicate it. And the last stage of the plant will be reckoning. So stage six, the plant gets more mature and starts to grow fruit. If there is too much text, you can always resize the panel. Yeah. And now it fits. I can also do it like that. Okay. And now let's draw fruit. So for me, it's going to be red. And I will. All right, so this will be it when it comes to all the backdrops. We have covered all the stages of life. And now let's get to coding. OK, so in order to get to the coding part, we need to um, navigate to the top uh, left corner and click code. And now we're in the coding section, as we usually are. Before we get to the actual coding, uh, let me just remind you that if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We're posting more and more videos lately, so um, don't forget to keep up. Now, let's animate all the animation that you um, have seen in the first part, so in the project demo. Um, if you remember, the sprite started at a certain position and then uh, kind of changed its size, so it became large and smaller and large and smaller. And this is what we're going to start with. So <clears throat> let's go to let's go to the narrator sprite. So let's go to the cat sprite and click on when backdrop switches to title page. This time uh, the events will be when backdrop switches to usually because the animation depends on where we are, so in, on which stage we are. And so when backdrop switches to title page, we need to go to a specific point. So let's reposition the main character. And let's go to XY and let's point in direction 90. This will ensure that it looks in the right direction. And set size, this is in looks, set size to 100%. And also, we're going to introduce um, the topic to the viewer. So let's make the sprite say something. So scroll up a little bit and say, today we will 
look at for one second. And then we duplicate this and um, and add the, the next part of the speech, which is how a plant grows. All right. So this will be the introduction. Let's also make the cat change the size. So we need to do it a couple of times. So we will need what we call a loop. Um, but this will not be a loop. Uh, this won't be a loop forever. So we just need to repeat it a couple of times. So I'm going to choose repeat for. And in looks, let's make it think something. So think is kind of similar to say, but instead of a dialog box, um, that's like an ellipse, it will have a cloud. So it will say, uh, it will think, wow, what? And then we will change the size by 50. So change size by 50. And then we will wait a little bit. So let's give it a half a second. And then duplicate the change size and weight by right clicking and selecting duplicate on the change size by 50. Um, and instead of 50, you see, this, this will not end well because um, the cat is all over the place now. Um, we need to change it to minus 50 so that it goes up and down, up and down, well, large and small, large and small. All right. Um, when we would restart this, um, it would oscillate so it would become larger and smaller repeatedly. Now let's go to this stage because as you see, if I click the green flag, nothing happens. Why? because I haven't really included the when green flag is clicked this time. Let's change it. So let's go to backdrops. And let's curve the backdrops. And this time, the when green flag is clicked is going to be here. So when green flag is clicked, we can switch backdrop to title page. And when space key is pressed, we will go to the next backdrop. Okay, so this is how it goes. All right. And now when we click the green flag, we can already see the initial animation. Then we need to narrate the whole story. So we need to change the entire, um, what the position of the cat and what the cat says. So the script accordingly to what backdrop we are at. So let's go to Sprite again and continue to code it. So when backdrop switches to the second one, which is sprouting, we can reposition it and again, glide one second to some place and then reposition it again. And then glide one second to another place so that it will move around looking at the plant. And let's also say that the seed starts to grow for two seconds. Okay, so this is the description of what's happening. Then we can just copy and paste it when backdrop switches to seeding. And then the only thing we will change is the coordinates of movement so that it keeps moving around uh, and also the instructions. So I'm going to change it to 143 and 33. And then actually in between, I'm also going to put point in direction 90 because um, the, the cat might have changed the direction throughout this movement. So let's say now it becomes a plant and I will delete the first gliding block. So right click and delete block. Okay, so this is how it goes. All right.
So again, let's copy and paste it. This time, let's glide one second to 164 and y equals minus 82. But the back loop needs to switch to vegetative. All right, we don't need to point in the right direction now. And we just need to say now a plant grows. And then we can also say we are on step three to remind um, the viewer that there are multiple steps and we are on stage three right now. All right. Then when the backdrop switches to budding, we will only glide for one second to minus 13 and 77. And then uh, nope. let's delete one of the say blocks. And then we will say okay, so again, repositioning and then explaining what happens. Okay, and only two to go. One, well, for the fifth one. Um, Let's actually copy the seeding one. So duplicate this. And change the seeding to flowering. Um, I'm copying that one because this one is going to be very similar because it will also have a point in direction element. So let's glide one second to minus 175 and minus 38. And then let's point in the right direction. And then let's say. Okay, so again, the flowers get bigger, so we also need to say that. And the very last thing will be. The ripening stage, the one where we already see the fruit. So when backdrop switches to ripening, we glide one second to minus 9, uh, 198 and minus 101. And then we need we can delete the pointing block as well. And only include say. Mm, and we can say that fruit appears. And we can also say something funny, so like, hello fruit, if you want to. Um, all right, and then when we press it again, when we have landed uh, on the ending page, it goes back to the beginning, so we can um, view it many, many times in a row. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you very much for staying with us, and don't forget to subscribe and like our channel if you like the video. Um, you can also check out all the other videos that we have made so far while you're waiting for the next one to arrive. Again, thanks a lot and see you next time.